who call upon your name we have sinned we have fallen short of your glory we have not been exemplary enough we have not practiced enough what we have been preaching today we bring repentance before you because a new thing is starting a great thing is starting and we cannot pretend about our faults before you you are a holy god you are a perfect god and you do not want one sin and that was why you sent your son jesus christ to come into the world the lamp of god that takes away the sin of the world and so god in heaven we remember that he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed we plead the blood of jesus to forgive us because we have sinned against you as clergy as priests as those who ought to be the voice of god to the people in this nation we pray for your forgiveness we want to pray again that you will forgive our leaders we are in they have been mindful of themselves and they have not walked in accordance with the teaching of your word we bring repentance before you concerning our leaders father god please forgive us for your masses never come to an end oh lord our god we are here again to ask for forgiveness for our nation not only among our leaders among our fathers in the families they have not been responsible fathers enough we have not been responsible fathers enough forgive us god want to pray for our mothers wherein they have not been responsible mothers enough please forgive we want to pray for our children our youths many are on drugs many have missed their way they are not working in accordance with your will father please forgive our youths even our little children they say vulgar things from their mouths because we are not there to supervise them enough as expected we are not giving to them the kind of attention we received when we were growing up as children we ask for forgiveness for parents and forgiveness for our children father forgive us all in jesus name Amen. today we're here to make our request of you that you will build this nation and make it become what you have purposed it to be nigeria is no ordinary nation north east south and west and center you've given us a great nation great vegetation oh good weather wonderful rainfall we can plant everywhere great vegetation we have mineral resources lord you've just been great and wonderful may you come and put us together the bible says unless the lord builds the house those who build labor in vain you have helped us but help us more that we will have a better nation oh lord our god be with our president lead him and guide him be with our vice president lead him and guide him be with all our governors be with the national assembly senate president uh, the speaker all of them guide them by your spirit let laws that will bring glory and honor to your name continue to come out laws that we bring division that we bring sorrow that we bring pain lord we pray they will be removed from this our national assembly completely in the name of jesus christ Amen. let there be fairness to everybody let there be love for everybody let there be care for everyone man and woman boy and girl muslim and christian all of us let us have a great nation and be greatly blessed as you have intended nigeria to be blessed thank you god for here we also want to pray for our churches particularly churches in the north we have faced a lot of persecutions so many churches have been destroyed god we are calling upon your name because the silver is yours and the gold is yours the bible says the earth is the lost and all that is in it we pray you will provide the resources for the churches that have been burnt down to be rebuilt in every part of this nation particularly in the northeast in the northwest and in the north central 
Intervene, God, and let there be rebuilding, reconstruction. Like in the days of Nehemiah, like in the days of Ezra, as we have heard in your word, let there be reconstruction of the buildings that have been burnt down. Let there be reconstruction of the homes of people that have been destroyed. Intervene with you, all things are possible, and we can have a more beautiful northeast, a more beautiful northwest, a more beautiful north central, and on the whole, a more beautiful Nigeria. Do this for us, God. Thank you for these churches in the north SCCN, CRCN, Hekan Church, NKST, ERCC, UMCN, RCCN, the Cookin Church. The EYN Church, UMCA, CEFM, the ANCA, NRC, MBCN, ECCN, the Equa Church, the Catholic Church, the Anglican Church, the Baptist Church, Methodist Church, Presbyterian Church, and all shades of Pentecostal churches and other churches that I have not remembered to mention. We pray, God, you will make us one. Give us the grace, God, to take away every wall of partition which your cross has come to remove let us see ourselves as one let us show an example to the rest of nigeria and the rest of the world that this is the kind of christianity that christ brought for us help our churches to be united help us to be committed help us to follow the teachings of your word let us not be theoretically one thing and practically another let there be an admixture of both theory and practice in such a way that truly when people are seen coming out of churches in the north they will know that these are truly people of god only you can do this for us come and help us oh god thank you for hearing us we pray for northern nigerian christian politicians that god you will make them like William Wilberforce and even more. Through them, the whole of this nation will be blessed. Through them, the whole of Africa will be blessed. Through them, the entire world will change for your greater glory. Thank you for hearing. What is beginning like a mustard seed, like your word says, it will grow into a big tree and it will bring shade to all birds. Thank you for hearing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, sir. Quickly, may I invite Professor Pardon, who will be praying for the celebrants this morning. Please, can we celebrate God's servant as he comes around for the prayer? May I humbly invite our celebrants to please come forward for this prayer session. May I call on uh, the reverend pastors who are here to stand up and join me in praying for these, our noble servants. If there are ministers here, stand up and just Join me, point your hands so that we pray, so that we pray for them. As I pray, you participate with me in that prayer by raising your hand towards us here. Let us pray. Our Lord and our God, we worship you, we honor you, we magnify your name because there is none like you in all the earth and in the heavens. You are our creator. You have created us in your image and in your likeness. We thank you for bringing us to this place. We thank you for who you are to us. We thank you for the northern Nigerian Christian politicians who have organized this occasion to honor these gentlemen of yours who are called by your name. We thank you for their vision. We thank you for their courage. Our Lord and our God, hear our 
these gentlemen of yours before us. Right Honorable Yakubu Dogara and Engineer Babachir David Lawal. You know them before they came into planet Earth. You fashioned their coming into planet Earth. And you brought them to us. And you have raised them to this position. This honorable position. This noble position. This dignified position. If they reflect back to where they come from, they came, they come from a place that is not known. But you have raised them high up, just like Joseph, who was a small boy despised by, by his brothers, sold into slavery by his brothers, thrown to be killed. But he went down to Egypt. He was imprisoned for standing for his rights, for living a just and righteous life. He was implicated and he was imprisoned. But he did not give up. He insisted on living rightly. He insisted on being a man of courage, a man of principle, a man of integrity, a young man. And at the end, you honored him to become the Prime Minister of Egypt. These gentlemen standing up before you, you know who they are. They do not come from the family of kings, but from ordinary families. We want this to, O oh Lord, that you implant it in their minds, that they come from a very humble homes, but here they are honored in very high positions. Help them, O oh Lord, to remember where they come from as they lead, as they channel the affairs of this country. Help them to remember where they come from. Very humble, but they have been able to survive and come this far. When they are able to remember, they will stand firm and know that it is not by their might, nor by their power, but by your spirit. That they will know as they channel the affairs of this country, that they will know that it is not by sight, but by faith in you, who has brought them this far. That they will not be intimidated 